Yo, 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 what's going on, folks? L the Geek back once again, this time with a video that has been a long time coming. Uh, with my final part two for the Eagle Eye um, review. Now, first off, let's just get straight on into this thing. Uh, Eagle, oh, Penguin United actually sent me this out to uh, do a review on it, and I must say, at first, I was kind of skeptical, skeptical because I've never played any FPS games on um, PC until now um, and I, I really thought I would be able to have a, a decent outlook uh, about um, this type of setup for the fact that I sucked at it and I wanted to see if I could become better um, using a keyboard and mouse even if it was on a console because it's kind of like a gateway drug so um, I went ahead, I started using it, um, it's pretty easy for the first part, the, the kind of a con for it is that I didn't have Windows, I'm a, a Mac user, so I was unable to use the uh, the, the program to, to set it up initially. So it took me a while, I got to a, a Mac PC, or I mean a Mac, to, to an actual PC, uh, I got my setup and it's pretty easy and like there's already like presets um, that you can use and all you do is just load them up you can switch it to one or two uh, and you're, you're good to go like there's there's different uh, presets for different games that the people in the community have made uh, specific to certain mouses mice out there in the in the market and um, it works pretty good I've been using the steel series uh, sensei the only downside I can see about using the steel series sensei is that if you use any of the buttons on the right any of the uh, the side buttons on the right of the, the actual mouse it kills the mouse like it'll pretty much stop working all together and you have to uh, reset it up just to get it set back up which is kind of a downer but um, after that I just kind of got in the habit of not pressing my my, my right side buttons but um yeah, it's 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 definitely pretty good. There was a kind of a curve because moving the mouse, you, you try to have, you have to find that like dead zone to where it can move a lot better. One thing I found is that I've while using it, I find myself hip firing a lot more, um, and it just works. I mean, sometimes uh, actually ADS going ADS is is not as easy with uh, hip firing and I've been using it like crazy just hip firing especially in like Battlefield and you know other games like that but for the asking price it's $49.99 um, there's the PS3 version that doesn't require uh, a what's, what's the word? it doesn't require a uh, add-on controller I believe I don't have the PS3 but the 360 one I have is a wired one now the setup for this is pretty easy. Uh, at first, I didn't get it, but after a while, you know, it, it you understand. Uh, what you do is you plug the actual unit into your uh, 360 while it's turned off. You turn it on, and then you well, while it's turned off, you keep you plug in a wired controller into one of the ports. You wait for, and then you automatically you know just turn it on, obviously. And as soon as you turn it on, you wait for um, your console to come to uh, assign a controller to the actual uh, eagle eye. You'll see it; it lights up the little green lights that light up. It'll just be that one light. As soon as it lights up, you're good to go. And then once it does that, you can take out the controller and plug in your mouse and keyboard, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, is it pretty true to the the PC? Um, setup yeah no I mean there, there's some kind of limit there's some limitations because the uh, responsiveness isn't as good but I definitely say for the price it's a, a damn good damn good deal out there damn good deal compared to what's already out there I've seen some other ones uh, some of the ones that my friends have had and they were just pretty much overall crappy quality but uh, this one was was pretty cool and, and one thing like I was saying about uh, using this and then going to PC uh, I've been playing Battlefield on, on PC a little bit, you know, not on my PC because I don't, uh, I don't have that much of a, a beastly computer to actually run it, but, um, yeah, it's, it, it was a lot easier for me to go to transition outside of 
well, to transition into the um, PC FPS games uh, just for the simple fact of actually having time to sit down and use the eagle eye for the extended amount of time that I've been using it so I must say I must say if you're a gamer especially a PC gamer that wants to switch over to console and you're not really familiar or you're not really comfortable with the uh, the controller um, the eagle eye is definitely a damn good um, alternative like I said $49.99 asking price you can get in you can use your own keyboard your own mouse. The one thing that I believe you cannot use, though the kind of mice that or keyboards that you can't use, are ones with drivers. Um, I was actually able to get away with the Sensei because all the drivers are installed on the actual mouse, so you know I can do all the settings and everything through the mouse. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I really, outside of what I said, I really don't see any cons. I definitely say for the price, this is probably the best. Uh, keyboard and mouse peripheral for a console so if you're looking to get into this um, if you're looking to get into this market uh, definitely check out Penguin United definitely check out the Eagle Eye it is amazing um, I'm a fan of it now and now because of this I'm able to actually transition into the PC FPS market a little bit easier and now I have a little bit more appreciation for it so Thank you, Penguin United. Uh, I love it. It's great. Uh, if you guys like it, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Like I said, I give it my stamp of approval. It's it's an amazing. It's definitely a, uh, an amazing uh, add-on for your for your console gaming needs. Anyways, guys, L the Geek out. Thanks for watching, and uh, peace.